Hello, and welcome to the University of Alberta's Opening Up Copyright Instructional Module on Finding Open and Creative Commons Content. So what do we mean by open content? Open content is any material that is freely available for reuse and sharing. Technically speaking, this includes material that is not protected by copyright at all, which is also known as material that is in the public domain. See the public domain module for more information about this public commons. This module is about finding copyright protected materials that the rights holder has chosen to make available to you for reuse in ways that are more flexible than the legal copyright default of all rights reserved, and also for uses that are likely more flexible than those made available to you via exceptions in the Copyright Act. Since we like to practice what we preach, you should know that most of the material we use to create this module is reused. It was obtained by checking the terms of use clearly communicated through an open license. Creative Commons licenses are the most popular set of open licenses, but there are a few others. I reviewed our instructional modules on third-party content and open licensing, and wants to use open content in her thesis. By using openly licensed content, she will both alleviate any anxiety about potential copyright infringement, and support the creators and rights holders who have chosen to share their works broadly with the Commons, which includes sharing it with you. So where should Ira start? While Google might be the obvious first stop, using it effectively to find open content is not so obvious. Use the Google Advanced Search and filter your results by usage rights, the pull-down menu at the bottom of the screen, to get started. Be sure to confirm the open license assigned to the item by visiting the item's source website. Here, Ira has found a picture of zebra mussels with her Google search. That does look good, Ira, but can you use it? Even though she was specifically searching for images that were labeled for reuse, she decides she should make sure. So she clicks the visit link to go to the site where the image was posted. Hmm. There isn't a copyright notice or a terms of use statement here associated with that picture. Ira isn't sure that this image wasn't shared without the rights holder's permission, so she decides that she should look for an alternative. Google is an important search tool, but it's not the only one out there. Ira decides to search both the Wikimedia Commons and the collections indexed by the Creative Commons search to find an image that she can use for her thesis. She enters the phrase zebra mussels with quotes. Ah, this looks a bit more promising. And there we go. Both of these searches have turned up great pictures with open licenses that Ira can actually use. So far, we've talked a lot about images, but what if Ira wants to make videos or add spice to her presentations with multimedia or learn new skills with maker projects? The universe of open content is much bigger than text and images and is growing all the time. We have some examples to share, but this is by no means a full list. For example, Ira may want to add music or sound effects to her presentations. Sites like CC Mixter, Freesound, and the Free Music Archive all provide access to openly licensed content under Creative Commons licenses or in the public domain. What about video or free stock footage? Flickr stores some of this, but Ira might also want to check sites like Vimeo Creative Commons or Pixabay. Many of the sites that share openly licensed photos are now also sharing video clips. Even the maker movement has caught the open licensing bug. Sites like Thingiverse, Libra 3D, and Circuit Maker will help Ira find files for 3D printing and electronics, from simple objects to complete designs for robots and machines. Maybe Ira is looking for some openly licensed data to work with. She might want to try Google's new dataset search tool, her local institutional repository like Dataverse, open data portals like the one from Statistics Canada, or free text archives like Project Gutenberg and Intratext. If Ira needs software to help with her research, or is looking for a source code she can incorporate with her own projects, she might try websites like GitHub and SourceForge. For example, if Ira finds open data to use for her thesis, she might use a free and open source tool like OpenRefine, which is from GitHub, to clean it up for analysis. In fact, Ira can even find amazing teaching resources, like the module you're watching right now. More and more educational content is being offered with open licenses, and sites like OER Commons, Serendipity, and Merlot can help Ira find everything from individual resources to textbooks and even full course plans. The examples we're giving here are all different, but Ira notes that they all work in the same way. They provide access to resources, along with information on how she can use them as part of her own work. Many of these sites will let you search for a specific license type, such as a Creative Commons Attribution license. 
As the number of openly licensed works grows, more and more portals and databases are created to provide access to these materials. Ira makes a note to check lists of major search tools and collections the next time she's looking for openly licensed content. One list worth noting is Wikipedia's list of major Creative Commons licensed works, which shows that even major projects like animated films can be released as open content. Some, like this short film from the Blender Foundation, are not only free to remix and reuse, but were created using open and freely available tools. You should now be able to identify open content licenses on copyrighted materials found online, Name several online repositories for openly licensed content, including images, sound, and educational resources. And interpret search results provided by open content repositories and portals to determine what content you can include in your own work. This has been the University of Alberta's Opening Up Copyright Module on Finding Open and Creative Commons Content. Thank you for your attention.